Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently acknowledged an issue with some versions of the Intel Smart Sound technology drivers and Windows 11 that is in some cases causing some nasty errors and the dreaded blue screen of death. Now what Microsoft says they have done is that they have placed um, uh, upgrade holds and update holds on systems um, that are having these driver issues with the affected hardware. And if you are on Windows 10 and have these issues, you will not be able to upgrade to Windows 11 until you update your drivers or Microsoft or Intel roll out a fix in the near future. And Microsoft says in that announcement that both Intel and Microsoft have found incompatibility issues with certain versions of drivers for Intel Smart Sound Technology and Windows 11. Windows 11 devices with the affected Intel SST driver might receive an error with a blue screen of death so that's what i mentioned previously now the easiest way if you suspect you might be having these issues in both windows 10 and 11 um, is just to head over to your device manager where you can do a search for that in both windows 10 and 11 or you can also just head over to your legacy control panel device manager and you can just look for sound video and game controllers where yeah you can see in my case, I have Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers installed for different um, hardware on my Windows 11 operating system. Now, I am not having any issues because I am up to date with my drivers. And generally on Windows 11, if you do check Windows updates, the optional updates um, on a regular basis, um, there should be um, driver updates there um, you know, quite frequently. So you shouldn't really be having too many issues on Windows 11. But as mentioned, if you are on Windows 10, um, you won't be able to upgrade until, as I say, you update the drivers or Microsoft and Intel roll out a fix. Now, the easiest way to see what driver version you have is just to double click on one of the Intel SSD driver entries, go to the top to driver, and yeah, you'll see driver version, in my case, 10.29.0.6590. Now, there are two driver versions here, so you need to make sure if you are running 10.30 that you are running 10.30.00.5714 or later and in my case 10.29.00.5714 or later and I'm on 10.29.6590 so that is why I'm not experiencing any you know errors or blue screens of death uh, on my Windows 11 operating system and as mentioned um, the easiest way to fix the problem is to you know check for a driver update as i've just mentioned or if that doesn't roll out through windows update you can try head over to your device manufacturer's web page where you can um, try and update the driver manually to the latest version and if you do that and um, then and you get the later version of the driver then you should be able to upgrade to windows 11 if you have those issues on windows 10 and um, microsoft also though mentions that you shouldn't try upgrading from Windows 10 to 11 if you are, are having these issues manually and, and rather wait um, you know, for a fix to roll out or try updating your drivers um, as just I've just shown you. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.